Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Today we're cutting our potatoes up, getting them ready to let them cure because it's time to get them in the ground here in the next couple days. I've got some cut up here already, but I was looking at my potatoes that's in storage here. We're seeing some really... I mean, you notice these is what our storage potatoes has done this year. They've already got little potatoes growing on them everywhere, so I'm going to try to try to get them cut. These probably just be cut in half. But I've noticed we have some potatoes that's doing some really weird things. Oh, uh, if I can find some of them. Uh, it'll, like this one, for instance. This potato is coming out of the potato. I have never seen that before. It's kind of amazing to me. I've already got a potato that size, and I haven't done anything. It's, I don't know why it's growing out of the potato. That's a new one on me. And there's on the other side, the same thing here. So these are kind of some new phenomenons on me. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not banking my whole potato crop this year on something that's going to fail on me, but I, being as I've never seen this, I don't actually know how to respond to it. It's, uh, it's kind of a new thing for me. I'm trying to figure out about the bit, where to be the best place to cut it because I want to make sure I've got a good eye on it. I'm trying to get as much out of my potatoes as I can. I've just those are some things that I've I've never seen in potatoes before. One of the things that we're looking at with these particular potatoes is the fact that we have we we have not had a, a cold winter this year. Our winter's been extremely warm and the cellar has never really cooled down like it normally does. It stayed up pretty warm. You know, for being underground, the temperature stayed in the 70s for most of the summer, most of the fall, and most of the winter. It's been like 70 degrees, and it's just now getting down to around 60 degrees to 65 degrees in there. And we're kind of wondering, has that not played a factor in these potatoes actually doing this on us? Like I said, this is the first year I've had this happen. Don't know how it's going to turn out. Don't know if they're even going to grow or not. I guess, I guess we'll find out. This is another phenomenon I come across here. I cut this potato in half to, uh, and there is a potato growing in the center of it. I have never seen that on my potatoes. Actually, I have several of them that have done that. There's another one. It's, it's amazing to me what I'm running across here this year. Here's one here. I cut and the potatoes actually inside it fixing to bust through the center of it. I've not had this happen on any potato I've ever grown in my life. That and here's another one here, a potato coming out under the edge of the skin. It's making me wonder what my potatoes are starting to do that I've kept here. Uh, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll just plant and see what happens.
potatoes that we're going to be planting. The first bucket weighs 20 pounds. Okay, this one subtracting the two pounds from the weight of the bucket is going to be 15, 16, 17, 18 pounds. Okay, this one looks to be about 28 pounds. Subtracting two pounds for the bucket. Okay guys, we're out here. Got Wanda's covering them up now. Um, the clip that she showed you with us actually planting the potatoes. I know it's an old wives tale about all the eyes has got to be pointing up, but it just makes sense to me to start them off that way instead of them having to turn and go around the whole potato and come back. So we still follow that tradition of making sure the eyes are pointed up on them. We're planting them a little bit closer together this year. We're putting them about eight inches apart this year instead of 12 inches. Last year when we dug our potatoes, we realized we had a little bit of wasted space, so we're going to try to put them closer together this year and see if we can't get more potatoes in a smaller amount of area. So we're going to move on with planting and we'll take you all to the, on the rest of the journey here as soon as we get some more done. Okay, y'all, we're running an experiment right now. These are potatoes we had left over from last year. They've got all these uh, roots and young potatoes starting to come on them. We're not going to cut these up. We're doing an experiment. The first few rows we planted, we cut them up. These rows, we're going to plant the whole potato because these are kind of small, like this. We're just going to stick them in the ground and see if... Uh, See how they do. This is an experiment just to see if it's worth it to plant the whole potato. If you get more from a whole potato or if you get more from them when you cut them up. So we're going to take you all along on this journey. Experimenting here at Deep South with the potatoes and how they, how they grow. Okay guys, I've got to stop for a minute and take a break. It's funny, we started off this morning, it was 35 degrees. And it is, oh gosh, it's 10 o'clock and it's already up to like 60 degrees. It's amazing, I mean, it just, that's why we got to get stuff planted down here as early as we do. But anyway, I got to take a break. You know, I'm running out of energy because this is a lot, a lot of work. We've been going since daylight this morning. I got my pecan cookies and the blonde brownies that uh, Wanda makes for me here. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this and we got our ice cold water in this kind of go system here that was a gift from a subscriber and we really appreciate these things because this kind of helps us out about water whenever we need it. And this is Wanda's over here. She's got the purple one. It was a gift to her also by the same sub. And she likes her uh, granola bars for her little picker uppers and um, that's what she has for her break okay guys here we are these potatoes I was telling y'all about that we cut off we're doing an experiment we planted the whole potatoes now we've cut some of these in half and we're, we're planting half of them cutting them in half and planting them we're gonna see which way produces the most potatoes? If it makes a difference with cutting them or if it makes a difference leaving them whole, which where do we get the most potatoes at? Because this year we're planting probably close to 60 pounds. Last year we planted 40 something pounds and harvested 400 something pounds of potatoes. This year we're going to 60 pounds of potatoes and seeing if we can get enough left over to have for our harvest every year. Because see, when people plant potatoes, they only think about eating potatoes. You got to have enough to save for next year to replant with in case there's a life-changing event. So 
this is what we're going with right now we'll show you in the row here you can see you know you have to excuse the shadows here you can see we're planting them every eight inches apart all the way down all the way down these rows here okay guys we're finishing up here one just cutting a uh, hoe in the last little bit of the rows here covering up potatoes getting any kind of little weeds out of there that might be in there and grass and stuff throw it over the edge we've got seven 100 foot rows of potatoes planted I know that sounds like a lot of potatoes but like I said a while ago if there's a life-changing event that takes place and we can't get anywhere to buy seed potatoes for next year then this is what Wanda and I look at we're raising enough so that we have plenty left in the cellar to plant next year plus we have an abundance if some of the family needs a few potatoes we can give them a few potatoes or friends Wanda likes a little bit on one of the rows there and she'll have that finished up we planted all these we did three different experiments in here as we mentioned to y'all we're going to see which ones do the best because now's the time to experiment not during a life-changing event you try to experiment during a life-changing event you'll starve to death the sugar cane is planted next to it here i'm gonna see if i can get up and let you a little bit better look at okay, this is some cane. of our sugar cane here as y'all can see it is coming up a little rose there you can see the green popping up in the rose it's about eight inches tall right now i mean it is all over the place here we planted a sugar cane next to our, our potatoes next to our sugar cane should i say you can see these rows the cane is coming up real good in them here's part of the problem we're having here you see how this ground is tore up all this that's deer tracks there is deer tracks everywhere here I mean that's another reason that we are planting Irish potatoes over here on this hillside because the deer are so bad over here that they don't usually eat Irish potatoes they don't eat sugar cane so that's one reason we're planting those over here is so that uh, it kind of deters them a little bit you see one is almost through with those last few little rows down in there I also want to bring y'all over here and show you we have this bucket of green stuff here that as we go through the fields planting the tractor plowed all this stuff up this five gallon bucket goes to our bunnies it's going to be butchered to help supplement some of their feed here in this five gallon bucket so we've got a five gallon bucket full and one to still gathering more to bring up here so here we are she's going through the field gathering up more once again seven rows 100 feet long here we have seven rows 100 feet long and Wanda's steady gathering up more green stuff for the bunnies to eat all right y'all this has been a journey we'll show you when these things start sprouting and coming up there'll be another video thank y'all from deep south homestead <laughs>